So today's math lesson is for math lesson 10.1, and it is on pages 230 and 231 in your math journal. And today's review is a little bit different than the math boxes review. This is going to be money review for us. So we're going to be using money to buy things at a grocery store. When you go over to the grocery store page, you'll see that some items are listed as the price per pound. So if you're buying fruit, you buy it by the pound. And some items are listed as the price for each individual item. So that might make a difference when you're working on the next page. First thing is always make sure that you're reading those directions. Complete problem one. For problems two and three, choose two items from the goodbyes poster on page 230. List the items and how much they cost in the table below. For each item, count out coins and bills to show several different ways of paying for each item. Record two ways by drawing coins and bills in the table. Use quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, and one dollar bills. And they give us an example. You buy one pound of bananas. So you see that the item is 59 cents. They cost 59 cents a pound. You pay with, you could do a quarter, quarter, nickel, penny, 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 or they list this. So let's count it 25, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So we could use either combination of coins. Now number one says we're buying oranges. We buy oranges, it says $1.49. They give us that amount. So we must be buying exactly one pound of oranges. How could we pay for those oranges? $1.49. It says I can use quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, and dollar bills. So if I'm paying $1.49, and I'm going to pay for it two different ways. The first way, I would probably pay for it with a dollar bill. I'd start there. And it's really close to 50 cents, but I, I have to pay the exact amount. So let's start with 25. Now you add on. You do yours. 35, 45, 36, 37, 38, 49. Let's count this. $1, one dollar, one dollar twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, one dollar forty-nine cents. So that's one way. Or, how else could I pay for that bag of oranges? So I could pay for my items this way, or maybe I use quarters to make my first dollar. And then how could you do the rest of it? So there's $1, 25, 50, 75, $1, $1, 25. One dollar thirty-five, one dollar forty-five, one dollar forty-six, one dollar forty-seven, one dollar forty-eight, one dollar forty-nine. So those are two different ways, and that's how you're going to be completing the rest of this page. And everybody's page might be a little bit different, so you're going to need to check that with someone at your house, or you can send it to me in a picture, and I would look at it. Just make sure that your picture is clear enough that I can read what you have written. So you get to choose what you're going to buy. Maybe you're buying a gallon of milk. Write the cost of that item and tell me how you would pay for it. Two different ways. Number three, what are you going to buy? The cost of the item, pay for it two different ways. And number four, this I would like you to try. It says try this, but I know you can do it. What if you bought two items? You're going to need to figure out the total cost and then two different ways to pay that total cost. Can't wait to see what you do. Thank you.